User 24, hello. Thank you for being here. Suzanne and Davey, welcome. CC56, hi. Anisha, hello. Francis, hi. Jessica, welcome. Welcome to the love ship, everybody. How's everybody's Sunday been? Hello, Kevin. Amanda, hi. Valor, hello. How are you, Davey? Shannon, hello. Kylie, welcome. Janelle, hello. Ashley, hi. Davey, what you been up to today? Hello, Lydia. Sligo, hi. Desiree, hello. Heather and User67, welcome. Daniel, hi. Hi, Superkin. How are you, Kevin? I'm doing great. How, are you? How have you been? Hello, Cressa. D, welcome. Wendy, hi. We have a fly in the love ship at this time of night. How? How are flies awake right now? You look sad. That's just my face. B27 things. How are you, though? I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm not sad. User 72, hello. Eric, hi. Everybody who's new here, click the fall button. I appreciate it so much. Let's get to let's get to 65k tonight. A wonderful a friend came over from church. Well, I hope you had fun. Relatable chillin'. Yeah, I've been chillin' all day too. Davey, thank you for the follow. Lana, well, hello. Amy, thank you for the follow. You're the best. Everybody who clicks the follow button, one million years of good luck. Everybody who doesn't click the follow button, one million years of bad luck. Sorry. I don't make the rules. Hello, Luciana. How are you? Flower Girl 042, hello. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Jess, thank you for the follow. Israel, thank you for the follow. Y'all the best. Shannon, thank you for the follow. Hi from Cincy. Alea, I'm also from Ohio. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Sarah, hello. Welcome. Happy Sunday, you too, DGA. Randy, thank you for the follow. Hi from Florida. MST from Florida, hello. Ohio's real. <laughs> How are you tonight? I'm doing good, Sarah. How are you doing? Hello, Allie. Nashville, Tennessee. Well, thanks for being here all the way from Nashville. I appreciate it. How old are you? I'm 31. Yes, Ohio is real. Ohio is the best shaped state out of all the states. How are we going to pretend like Ohio is not real? It's the most real out of all of them. Hello, TJ Martin. Were you ever a fan of the... T I've never seen Cash Cab. Everybody who sees my live says Cash Cab, but I've never seen it. Cassie G, hello. How are you? Or Casey. Hello from Jersey. Hannah from Jersey, hello. Except, <laughs> except Tennessee. <laughs> Saranda, thank you for the follow. Colorado has four perfect right angles. Yeah, but Ohio shaped like a heart. We're literally shaped like a heart. <laughs> Loved Cash Cab. Pennsylvania is the most real. We're heart-shaped. Kimber, thank you for being here. How are you? Chris Curry, hi. Lucky me, welcome. JC, thank you for the likes. Heart of the Midwest. We're the heart of America. Johnny John, hello. Okay, that's legit. Love love hurts. So does Ohio. I don't know if we'll go that far. Lucky me, thank you for the follow. Hello from California. JC from California, how are you? What's everybody up to tonight? What'd y'all do today? Alyssa, hello. You love Ohio? We can be the lungs of America. Tennessee. Is Tennessee shaped like lungs? Lexi, thank you for the likes. JC, thank you for the follow. What is, I don't even know what Tennessee is shaped like. I can't think of it in my head. Kylie, hello. I'm Julie and I snore. Hello, Julie. Totally not at all. <laughs> it's just a rectangle. How boring. We can't be having rectangle shapes. TH, hello. <laughs> Sorry. I don't make the rules. Rectangle rectangle is probably the worst shape out of all of them. If we had to rank all the shapes, rectangles is rectangles in last place. <laughs> Hi Riley. Hello, Vaughn. Janine, hello. 
are you welcome, hi Lenny. Why do guys ghost me? Uh, tell me about yourself, Valerie. I'll see if there's any red flags. When's the last time you talked to your mom? Probably, probably like a week ago. Mimi, when's the last time you talked to your mom? It's kind of catty wampus. It's not squared. I don't even know what catty wampus means. <laughs> Hello, Allison. Did you miss me? Of course. Hello, Amy. Mama guy, Gail. Hello. Do you like cheese? I love cheese. Shout out to cheese. You're 59. Okay. Do you think Joe Biden knows he's alive? I don't know. I don't know what's going on in his head. Hi from Miami. Hello, Monique from Miami. Sacha, hello. How old are you? I'm 31. When guys ghost you, is there a reoccurring theme? Is there something you tell them and, th and then they disappear? Or do you feel like you just can't keep their attention? That you'll be talking, you'll be talking to guys and they kind of just fade away and then they're gone. Am I on roids? No, I've never, I've never taken steroids. Online dating sites. Am I in a car? Can cars be in space? We're literally in space. This is a love ship. Thank you so much for being here. Guys goes to because they're simply not interested anymore. I tell them too much. Like what? Is there something spe specific you tell them? And then they go. Or is there something specific you ask? Something something you say. What's the pattern here? We, we need to look for the pattern. What makes me super? Um, I have laser beam eyes. I think the agendas don't, don't line up. Dating has become boring. Have courage and just be kind. I don't think dating is supposed to be fun. <laughs> Jay, thank you for the follow. Like, I feel, I feel like we're just supposed to find somebody and then figure it out. I don't feel like we're supposed to be going on 1,000 dates, you know? I don't think it's meant to be fun. Teresa, hi. Dating hasn't been so far. Not so far. Sorry for the buzzing. Anupa, hello. SJ, welcome. Charlotte, hi. Martha, hello. Dating is fun f fun for me, but I'm a goofball. You have a boyfriend, Vaughn. What do you mean? Dating is supposed to be a process and, and commitment, and everyone lives for instant gratifications. Facts. I agree. I feel like dating should be leading towards a relationship, and a relationship should be leaning, leading towards marriage. But I feel like... I feel like... Not everybody, but there's a majority of people who view dating as a job or an interview. Like, impress me. They sit back with their, their clipboard and they're like, don't don't give me the ick. You know, tell me everything that you bring to the table. Instead of trying to like somebody. They try to not like somebody. Do I have kids? No. Alyssa, thank you for the follow. I only date for marriage facts. I date my boyfriend weekly. That doesn't count. <laughs> dating when you're in a relationship is fine. But dating to find somebody, that's not fun. Like me, I need a connection. Like, I need to get to know you for a little bit. I need to talk to you. I need to spend some time with you. Thank you so much, Cambo, for sending me a little heart. Like, I can't hang out with a different girl three times a week. I can't do it. I don't want to hang out with a different girl more than once a year, <laughs> to be honest. Like, I just want to, I just want to stick to one. I don't. I don't like hanging out with new people all the time. Absolutely. No one sees it like that anymore. Like, what can you do for me exactly? Just here, so wanted to know what's what's talking going on. Um, we are talking about dating right now. Cambo, thank you for the follow. Arig M38, thank you for the follow. Hello from Nebraska. Denise from Nebraska, thank you for being here. Hey sugar, hello, Rachel. Exactly. Chemistry is so, so important. Yeah, for me. For me especially. Like I I need a connection. Like I need I need us to have a little rapport. Like we need to at least have one inside joke before I'm going on a date with you. Being single is more peaceful. 
I don't know. Being single is peaceful, but so is waking up to somebody that you can just roll over and and put your arm around. Building a friendship is one of the best ways to help our relationship last. Candace, hello. Tima, shout welcome. Hello, cat. I have to have chemistry before I can even kiss someone. Facts. You always appear on my FYP. Well, hello, Nadia. I mean, I know I'm old, but I remember <laughs> the single dating scene. Good man. Well, thank you, T. Michelle. Hi from Atlanta. Hello, Marion from Atlanta. Hi from Oklahoma. Darby from Oklahoma. Thanks for being here. Like emotional and mental chemistry. Yeah. Like I need the emotional chemistry first, for sure. Is it a deal breaker if I don't drive now? T. Michelle, thank you for the follow. Texas Angel, hello. I only stick with one guy. I don't believe in dating too many guys. Facts. Same. So let hello. Like I'm a I'm a one person kind of person. Like I can't I can't do match a meeting. Like that's just that's exhausting. You know, that tr that treats people like they're a pair of pants and you're trying to find the perfect pair. I feel like it's disrespectful and a waste of time to do match a meeting. If I don't have that, we don't have anything. It's all about the, the foundation. You're the perfect male. Hello. Well, thank you, T. Michelle. Elizabeth, hello. Nadia, thank you for the follow. Communication is the key to long-lasting relationships. Facts. Stud, well, thank you. Thank you, Chuyo. Hello, Daddy. I missed your laugh. Ivan, hello. Hello, handsome. Sherry, hi. It's all about making the bed to jump in for, for a cuddle. A cuddle scuffle and a fun kiss. Hello, Cody. Steppy, thank you for the follow. You have to be friends first, and if it's met and will happen, you have to be patient. I don't know about friends. Like, I don't want to become your friend first. But I do want to... I want rapport, you know? I want to talk back and forth. I want you laughing at my jokes and me laughing at your jo jokes. I want to be laughing together. I want to be talking... Not every second of the day, but a few times a day. You know, I want to be able to call you and three hours goes by and you don't even realize it's been three hours. That's what I need before I'm even going on a first date with you. Like, I can't just do, oh, you're hot. Let's go get drinks. I can't do that. Like, no, there's I, I need tension built first. Ratna, hello. I see more people unhappy in relationships and marriages than actually happy. Yeah, like, the more I'm on this app, the less I want to get married, for sure. Your timing is perfect. This is a great time for me to escape. Nice to see you again and again. Never never get bored watching your lives. Well, thank you for being here. I'm hilarious. Cody, you are hilarious. Monique, thank you for the microphone. Everybody who's new here, click the follow button and follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. I appreciate it so much friendly without the friendship zone. Does that make sense? Yes, exactly. Like, I, I need to feel comfortable with you. Sherry Lag Yao, hi. Pamela, hello. I've given up on dating or relationships. Why? Why, Corinna? Just joined getting a, a divorce because I wasn't happy. Well, I'm sorry, Ashley. Why were you not happy? Thank you for the follow why am I single? Um, I have a whole documentary. <laughs> I have a whole documentary on why I'm single right now. Christine, hello. I just met someone and we have chemistry and great communication, but I'm still guarded. We'll get over it, Kimmer. <laughs> Stop being guarded. <laughs> you have somebody with chemistry and they're a good communicator, Whatever it is you're guarded about, get over it. <laughs> Just let down your guard and hop in, girl. Therapy. Talk to a therapist. You you need to fix that ASAP. Because you're going to self-sabotage if you don't. And you're going to lose out on somebody potentially great. Like, if you can't sit with yourself and calm your own mind and soothe yourself and just trust. Trust that there are good people out there and there are people with good intentions. Then go to a therapist that can help you do that if you can't do it yourself. It's going to be super important for you. Because it's hard. It's hard to find somebody who's a good, a good com communicator. And then somebody who's a good communicator that you have chemistry with. Like that's. 
that's a unicorn person. So, so don't lose them. Work on yourself the best way that you can. Those people are so hard to find. Been single for eight years. It's great. My ex was an alcoholic. Typical ma military man, narcissist that works. Got you. So you're not getting a divorce because you're unhappy. You're getting a divorce because they were narcissists. Ken, I lost my best friend in a bad fight. Give me tips to apologize nicely. <sighs> what was the fight about, if you want to talk about it here? Let's start there. What, what did y'all fight about? I think that's why I'm single, because I want to get to know who you are. Guys, um, guy is only that sweet lovemaking. So here's the thing, Denise. I feel like all humans like like to make that sweet love. Amy, thank you so much for the little slime person. Um, unless you're super traumatized and you have things that you need to work on, you know, around the idea of love making, I feel like it's very normal for any human to want that that sweet sweet love. You know, I don't think it's just a guy thing. But my rule is if you're going to sleep with somebody, don't do it unless you're okay. That's all that they wanted. Because it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter how long you wait to sleep with the guy. If you sleep with a guy on the first night and his intentions were always good, he's going to stick around. If you make a guy wait six months and all he ever wanted to do was sleep with you, he's going to leave you after six months. It doesn't matter. How fast you do it. It matters on the guy and his intentions. Not every guy just wants to make that sweet love. But a lot of them do. You know? Not a, not a lot of women want commitment. Sometimes they just want to get in there too. Or use you for whatever it is you have. Whether that's a boat. Or connections. Or money. Like they're, they're going to use you and then they're going to throw you away. And that's okay. You know, we, we got to just let those people go. But don't sleep with them. Don't sleep with them unless you're okay. That's all that, all that they wanted. Rana, thank you for the rose. Hi, Zaddy. Miss you. <laughs> Hello. Yes, I think you're right. I need therapy. Yeah, for sure. Because that's going to that's gonna mess with you for the rest of your life, Kimmer. If you're in this situation where you're guarded when you have somebody good, if you don't learn how to get over this, if you don't learn how to talk yourself through it, thank you so much for the rose, Caleb. Um, you're going to struggle with relationships for the rest of your life. So, therapy 100%. Elizabeth, hi. Okay, love you. Going to bed. Good night, Cody. Grace, howdy. Sorry, I keep coming and going into your live. My phone is ringing and dinging. That's okay, Pamela. Hello, Robbie. Larry, thank you for the follow. Hello, Hannah. Thank you so much for the hand hearts, Pamela. I'm like giving away myself for free just because we date. Mike, thank you for the follow. I mean, I am. I'll give myself away for free because we date. <laughs> Pookie, thank you for the follow. What do you think about verbal abuse in relationships? Um, verbal abuse is just as bad, if not worse, in some cases, than physical abuse. We don't tolerate it. No form, no form of abuse. <sighs> have I ever, have I ever called a girlfriend a bitch before? Yes, I have. But the last time I've ever called a girl. A negative name I was 26 years old we it was my narcissist ex of three and a half years we were maybe six months into our relationship and she was a completely different person by then and I, I called her a bitch and that's the last time I ever called a woman a negative name <sighs> calling your partner anything any sort of name does nothing for you it does nothing for the relationship it doesn't, it doesn't turn them into a better person magically. It doesn't fix the relationship. It doesn't fix the problem. It's just not acceptable. And if somebody is verbally abusing you, they're calling you names, you know, set up, set up a boundary right there. You know, like, don't, don't talk to me that way. You know, you shouldn't talk to somebody who you love that way. You shouldn't label people that you love with negative words. So no. No to verbal abuse. Don't put up with it. Sounds like we're getting deep tonight. We get deep every night. Jordy, thank you so much for the follow. Pamela, thanks for the hand arts. Robbie, thank you for the follow. 
Hello, Supercan. How are you? I'm great, Letty Lucian. How are you? Cindy, welcome. King, you're live every night. When could you be, when could you be with me? Cindy, hello. I was married to a verbal abusive person, verbally abusive person for 32 years. I have trust issues. Yeah, Kimmer. You sound like you have a, a fearful avoidant attachment style. Um, possibly CPTSD. Talk to talk to a therapist. They're gonna help you. Hopefully. Hopefully they're gonna help you get over that and learn to trust again. Because it's so important for you. Cam, thank you for the follow. So important for you to find that he healthy partner and not sabotage it. I either meet good men that I'm not attracted to or meet men who I am attracted to but want kids. Good men can want kids. So, Monique, by attraction, you mean physically attracted? You're not physically attracted to the good men. And the guys who you are physically attracted to want kids. Is that what you're saying? Or is there, or is there another sort of attraction that you're talking about? Your phone died. Allie, well, thanks for coming back. Hello, Cindy. Been driving home from the Shaggy and TLC concert? In Clarkson, Michigan. I appreciate the in-depth levels of conversation. Well, Rachel, thanks for being here. And I hope you had fun chasing waterfalls. Am I single, Gabe? I am single. One can, one can hurt, hurt my heart, and he was a ginger. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, and yeah, good news for you. I have metallic brown hair. I really must miss my best boyfriend more than a boyfriend. Thank you for the roses, India. Yes, physically, and I don't want any more kids. You'll f you'll find some guys who are okay not having any more kids. Just keep keep searching. You know, every no is one step closer to yes. Listening to them was fabulous, just like when we were younger. Oh, I love you. I feel, I feel I attract narcissists and catch the red flags and walk away. But why do I attract them? So says, thank you for the follow. So any anytime anybody says to me, hey, I attract narcissists. You know, I've been creeped on you. I haven't seen what you look like. But I will tell them, you know, you're a good looking person. You attract everybody. You attract a lot of people. But you're accepting the narcissist. Why are you accepting the narcissist? The reason, the reason we accept the narcissist, for one, narcissists are usually good-looking people. You know, they usually try to, they usually try to look good. Um, as do all the cluster B personality disorders. You know, they they try to try their best to look attractive. So narcissists are, for one, going to be attractive people. For two, they're going to be charismatic people. Um, for three, they could be very successful people making a lot of money that could be attractive to you and they're very good at love bombing they're very good at pretending to be everything we ever wanted in the beginning so don't beat yourself up for falling for narcissists we all fall for them they're very they're very enticing but they're demons you know they are they are sent from satan himself but don't don't feel ashamed of yourself don't beat yourself up for falling for them it's important that we do recognize when the mask slips, when they get abusive and they show no remorse, they show no empathy in moments of pain, when the communication starts to get poor, that we walk away from them and go on to the next one. You know, the more you deal with them, the quicker the quicker you see the red flags, the quicker you can get out of there. And that's what's, what's important. So just keep sifting through them. Keep sifting through them because... You know, I, even I attract them still, you know, they're enticing people. They're, they're very attractive and alluring people. They are, they are sirens for sure. It's a hot take, but I, I like where your head's at. Well, they, thank you, Gabby. People accept what they think they deserve. I think that's so true. Hello, Brittany. They are evil. They are evil. Maria, thank you for the follow. Pure, true, honest love is priceless and be careful for fakers. And here's another thing is we need to be careful when we do fall for our second narcissist because it's pretty common to date a narcissist immediately after our first one. And the reason we do that is because subconsciously, even though we're seeing the red flags, even though we're like, I've seen this before, 
I think I've seen this film before and I didn't like the ending. Even though we see that, at the very least subconsciously, we think we can get it right this time. We think, I know now. I know what I'm dealing with. I can fix them. I can manipulate them. But you can't. You cannot out-narcissist a narcissist. And um, I, I forget her name. She's on TikTok. She's a diagnosed sociopath. Her videos are great, right? But she teaches women sociopathic tactics to manipulate men. And the, the problem with that is you cannot out-cluster B somebody with an actual cluster B personality disorder. Like, you can do all the tactics, all the manipulation that you want. It's natural for them. You know, like, you, you have to actively manipulate people. It's not going to work. You can't actively manipulate somebody who manipulates as naturally as you breathe. So we, we just have to drop those people. Like, love them, sure, but love them from a distance. We can't, we can't love the narcissism out of them. And if we're all, if we're already in the relationship and you love them and you have kids and you have a family and you want it to work, there are narcissists and as well as other cluster B personality disorders who are willing to be in therapy for the sake of keeping you in their life or the sake of keeping their family together. So talk to your narcissist about therapy. If you're in a relationship where children are involved, there's a family and you don't want to let that go. Because um, mental illness, Lee, he is diagnosed MPD and he goes to therapy. He's married with kids. It's possible. Who knows how that story ends? But right now, it's it seems from the outside looking in to be, be well. But keep in mind, he's a narcissist. Who knows behind closed doors? There indeed, my ex-husband had three kids with three different women within the seven years we were married. Demons are for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> truth. Lauren, hello. How to get back someone's attraction from a long, silent relationship? What is a silent relationship? And couldn't understand why I couldn't love him. If I fall quick, but lose interest quick, and communicate, am I a narcissist? So you fall quick and you lose interest quick. Ashley, um, I can't diagnose anybody. Falling quick and losing interest quick could be a number of things. It could be narcissism. It could be borderline personality disorder. Uh, talk to a therapist. If you if you feel like you're possibly a narcissist, talk to a therapist. I can't diagnose anybody. I'm not a doctor. They're sneaky, but thank you. We all fall, fall for narcissists. Me currently falling for, for myself. Thank you so much. You're welcome, Cam. I've gotten better at, spar at spotting the narcissistic flags. Maria, hello. The, th the third one is hard. We think we can fix it. Yeah, we think we can fix it because we have a good heart. Like, it's... It's it's hard because, you know, cluster B, a cluster B personality disorder, for the most part, is... It's an, it's an invisible mental disorder. Like, you can't see it. Like, it's not enough to be like, oh, they're really attractive. Because they're super healthy, really attractive people. Like, that's not enough. Like, you can't see narcissism like you can see histrionic to an extent you can see borderline to an extent depending what kind of borderline they are but you can see narcissism to an extent too but that's just judging a book by its cover and it's not 100 percent. you know you can make a bet but it's like betting red or black in vegas you know you, you could you could you could hit right but it could also be completely wrong and because because it's invisible, we can't see it with our eyes. You know, it's not like there. There are plenty of disorders that you can see with your eye. A cluster B personality disorder you can't really see with your eye, and because we can't see it, we think, oh, I could I could love it out of them. You know, I could love them into a better person. I could love them and communicate them into a better partner. Because you just, you can't, you can't fathom treating somebody the way that they treat you. And that's why you stick it out for so long. Is because you're like, clear, clearly it'll eventually click, click to them to care about me. And it's just, it's just so frustrating because you care about them so much. And why don't, why don't you care? Like, I, I do so much for you. I love you so much. I'm such a good communicator and you're just not reciprocating. 
Like, it just doesn't click with you that, oh, it's a personality disorder and there's literally nothing I can do. Nothing. And that, that's why we hang on so long. We, th we think we can love it out of them, but we just can't. <sighs> we are not Bob the Builder. I never had the desire to be with another narcissist ever again. Well, that's awesome, Monique. That you got over the, the stage of, I can do it right this time. The game never ends well. Everyone, please be careful and be aware. I agree. Hello, Debbie. The only way to deal with the narcissist is to cut them off. Facts. Plus, I'll drive them crazy. Cool lights. Thank you. Thank you, Christian. Yeah, my ex-boyfriend cheated on me while he was in a different state, and I found out by his brother. User 39. Hello. Can you reject me so I can move on with my life? <laughs> April. Um, I will never reject any of you. I'll be your TikTok boyfriend. Click the follow button. Headed to sleep. Hope you... Hope to see you soon, Cam. Good night. Thank you for being here. From Thailand. Well, thanks for being here, user 39 from Thailand. Lonely, loneliness will get get where you be depressed and you just want love. Yes. April, thank you for the roses. That's my own word. Sorry, he ignored me. But he still asks, asks about me through my other friends. I avoid relationships altogether because I love my individual and freedom too much yeah christian it sounds like you have a dismissive avoidant attachment style um if you never want to be in a relationship that's cool if you do want to be in a relationship a healthy relationship one day i highly recommend therapy for you so you can learn to open up and let go of that fear of losing your freedom to a partner to a partnership i mean i talked to my psychiatrist and she's and she's never brought that up well you bring it up Bring up your own concern. Because I brought I brought the concern up to a therapist. And that's how I learned about narcissism. I want to believe everyone has good intentions. But from my experience so far, they don't. I mean, I feel like I have good intentions. Do you have good intentions, Kimmer? I use myself as the evidence. Anytime I don't believe that it's possible for anybody to love the way that I do, I'm like, but I love this way. There has, there has to be other people who love the way that I do. But we need, we need to recognize that certain abandonment wounds might make us chase after the person who is going to hurt us. And until we see that we're stuck in the cycle, we're not going to leave it. You know, it's very common, for example, for an anxious attached person to be in a relationship with an avoidant person because it's confirmation bias on both ends. The anxious person believes nobody's ever going to love me the way that I love them. And the avoidant person believes everybody's too clingy. So they get together. And sure enough, my partner's too clingy. My partner will never love me the way that I love them. And this confirmation bias is what keeps them together. But it's also what drives them apart. Flight attendants passing through. Heading home from Johannesburg. Y'all stay safe. Bookie from American Airlines. Hello. You obviously see narcissism because of something you observed. Yeah, you see narcissism through behavioral patterns, but you can't physically see it. You can see it through... Like, I'm, pr I'm pretty good at spotting it just in how somebody carries themselves. But even if I'm wrong, there are certain traits that I'll look out for in a potential partner that I just stay away from. You know, for example, when it comes to women, I will I will stay away from a girl who spends her weekend in the clubs. Like every single weekend she's out in the clubs or she's out at the bar every like every weekend, like once in a while. Sure. But every weekend I'm staying away from that. It's not guaranteed I'm dealing with a narcissist or a sociopath or borderline or histrionic. It's not guaranteed, but I don't like the odds. So I just stay away. Because there, there are plenty of people who don't do that. I'm one of those people who don't. So again, like if I exist, there has, there has to be women who exist that are how I am. <laughs> Neen, hello. Good night and God bless you and everyone on here. Friends, please be careful. Lo lonely gets you hurt. Delta, thanks for being here. 
And I guess I lose interest quick when I start seeing th things I don't like in the other person. Like what, Ashley? What are some things that you can see in another person that you don't like that makes you stop liking them? <clears throat> this may sound rude, but I instantly judge people on how they walk into a room. However, I'll give them every opportunity to prove me wrong. I mean, that's interesting, interesting, Jason. I recently walked away from a situation. JJ, thank you for the follow. What happened to your forehead? Um, my scars? This happened when I was a baby. I had glass fall on my forehead. My ex-husband cheated on me. I was married for 25 years and single for 12 years. Because I communicated boundaries, but I was, but I was crazy. Yes, indeed. That that sounds like gaslighting for sure. I'm glad you're out of that situation, Lady Z. Hello, CJ. Welcome. I've had a breakup recently, and I've been giving the person space and focusing on me. Well, Songbird, I'm proud of you for focusing on you. Cycle is so hard to break; it really is. CJ, hello. Narcissistic people do everything they can. That's good and right to get you to care about them then then they start the hurting and dis disappointment a little at a time to see what someone will put up with facts smart guy thank you i just wish i could meet us my stalker burned down buildings when i was when i moved states is that a cluster b <laughs> yeah that's that definitely sounds like possible um and antisocial personality disorder ron Here's a lot of people in the world. There's for sure others. Perseverance. So, a sociopath is yes. First impressions are everything. Typically, it's religious things or political things or the way they the way they talk to certain people. I mean, I feel like that's that's fair. If you're not a religious person, you don't want to date a religious person, and you get you get political x, sure. Like me, me personally, I don't, I don't care about the politics of my partner. It's whatever. I'm not gonna try to change them. So where is a place to meet good guys? <laughs> because we all know the bars aren't it, right? Like I wish, I wish I knew. I wish I knew a magical place to meet good people. Unfortunately, I haven't cracked that code of how how to find somebody good. You know, like, I've cracked the code of what do bad people look like. But how do we find the good ones, you know? Like, I don't know if it is as simple as saying no to the bad ones until a good one comes along. Too much alcohol, alcohol use is such a huge one for me. Burn down buildings, that's not... Sociopathic behaviors, is it? Yes. That is very sociopathic. So burn buildings down. Nikki, thank you for the follow. Hello, Faith. I had a, I had a dent in my forehead too. A box fell on me when I was young and slammed my head. Yeah, I've got like a Harry Potter scar for the rest of my life, from from being a baby. I was probably like I don't remember. I was like one or two. Right. It's not about superficial love. It's about intimate love. Facts. Hello, Jessica. That's exactly what we do. My husband and I are polar opposites for political politics and religion. Amber, I'm so happy you can figure that out. Because I'm the same way, Amber. Like, I just don't care. Like, I consider myself a Christian and politics, I don't really align with a party. I just, whatever, whatever sounds the best, you know, whatever sounds the most fair to humans. Faith, thank you so much for making that query shake its ass. And I followed you back. Like I don't I don't care. I don't care about politics. And if my partner aligns with any of the parties, sure, whatever. Or if they're not religious, it's fine. We'll figure it out. The good ones hide inside and don't go out. <laughs> Have a friend introduce you to a good person that he or she knows. That's that's a good idea too. Is being introduced through friends. I think there's a dating app where you only you can only get matched with people that your friends know. Something like that. 
Hello from Chicago. Jess Akita from Chicago. Hello. I'm an atheist and I got kicked out of the Catholic Church for my behavior during confession. I'm a Christian. He's he's atheist. It's respecting we raise our daughters with both sides. Hi from Florida. Dino, Dino doll from Florida. Hello. I'm hoping to meet him in a meet him in church or church setting. Nat, Nat, hello. Go to go to a different church every week. Georgia here. Wherever you you located, I'm in Ohio. Always nice chatting with you. Have a great night. Thank you for being here, Kimber. Everybody who's new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. Cindy, hello. Where from in Ohio? I'm close to Columbus. I know how to. I'm a Christian too. For me, it's important to have similar values. I'm in. And my ass, so that's hard. Well, my ch church family will <laughs> have to walk in. <laughs> We're still thinking. Gosh, I stay fabulous, sugar. Rachel, thank you for being here. Good news, hi. Springfield? Springfield, what? I recently started calling in the ones, so hopefully that helps. Plastic Barbie dolls, hello. User 18, welcome. Amanda Jill, hi. You could be my Ken. <laughs> Thanks for being here, Barbie. Outside of Finley, Ohio. Baker Cat, hello. Oh, okay. Bunch of Ohio people in here. Michelle, hi. Cassandra, and welcome. Billy, hello. I'm in Ohio from UA, but moved to Centerburg. What is UA? Is UA short for Utah? That doesn't sound right. That's UT. What is UA? <laughs> of the Ohio long. So I thank you for the follow. Upper Arlington. Oh, okay. Hello, Zoe. I need I need to visit my daddy. Where are you from? I'm from Ohio as well. Or I'm from Ohio. I live sort of close to Columbus. Ashley. I've not been for 13 years. Why are you in your car? Amber, can cars be in space? We're literally in space. This is the Love Ship. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. And follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. And also click the star. Become a Love Ranger. It's only one lunchable month. And you'll get love next to your name. Just like Amy. I don't, I think Amy went to bed. Um, Amber, thank you for the follow. And you'll get, lo you'll get love next to your name. And you'll get to use cute emotes. This is cute. And Brunch Daddy. And I'll follow you back. And you get a Love Ranger color live in front of everybody. Allie, thank you for the follow. Sometimes I'm alone. Sometimes I'm not. Is it cold there? No. I'm sweating, if you can't tell. I'm a mess. Robin, thank you for the follow. Is your hair red? It's metallic brown. <laughs> Sella, hello. Faith, thank you for being here. Bailey, hi. Tanner, welcome. Looks, looks a little reddish. Mind your business, Jessica. Are we talking about toxic relationships? Because same. If you want to. Your queen. Your queen, Sabine. Oh, yeah, hello. Your ginger. I feel like this spaceship is a, is a safe space. Yeah, I have a pretty healthy community of people. Everybody can just be themselves in here and talk about whatever. Don't even get me started on toxic relationships. Well, Tanner, hello. How are you? My hair trademark. User 28, hello. Josie, hi. <laughs> My specialty. You're so welcome. My ex was literally trying to work things out with me. Got into a relationship... Queen Sabine, thank you for the follow. 
How are you, Tanner? I'm good. Thank you for asking. People remember me from my hair. That's why I say that most of the time. Jesse, thank you for the follow. Your ex got into a relationship with their best friend? Is that what you're going to say? How are you after all that craziness? Caddy, I'm doing good now. Tanner, thank you for the follow. I'm doing good now. It did take me... It took... I felt pretty... Ble I wouldn't say depressed, but I felt like a zombie for like a week. And then last week, I was feeling normal again, but also also like a little hidden depression. Like I didn't feel depressed, but I obviously was. Like it was hard for me to wake up. But now I'm feeling good. I'm feeling so much more like myself again. CZ Mar Maran 13, hello. Marin, how are you? His best friend's girl? And like dead ass picked me up with her in the car today. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh no. That brat 10.4. Hello. If you don't mind me asking what happened. So Nova's mama. I have a whole little docu-series on my TikTok called Am I Being Catfished? That went on for six months. And it's crazy. Go watch it. It's like 45 minutes long, though. So when you do sit down and watch it, get some popcorn, get a snack. You're going to you're gonna enjoy the ride. It's fun. It's a fun ride, at least for, for the viewer. It's not fun for me who had to go through it. But it's very, it's very entertaining. And question mark, hello. How are you? Sending you a virtual hug. Thank you. It's been a while. How are you? And question mark. Elizabeth. Justin, I'm just hanging out on the ship. What's up with you? I called him on it, and he kicked me out of the car on the street. Oh, no. Movie time, yeah. It's it's wild. It's on my... It's a playlist. So as soon as you go to my profile, it's like the first playlist at the top. Has she tried reaching out to you, or did she disappear? She's disappeared as of now. She did talk to me... The day I posted the first episode, she called me. And we had like a two, three hour long talk. And she was still lying to me during that call needlessly. Um, she, was, she was trying to be friendly, which is which is fine, whatever. Then she was trying to sell me on, on the real her. Like, you know, like, oh, it, it was still like the person was still me. Like I was being myself and I have a, I have a house. I have a good paying job. I don't have kids. Like I have all the stuff. And it's like, yeah, girl, but you forget the part where you lied to me for six months. <laughs> like a fucking psychopath. <laughs> you know, like even like the real the real girl is cute. She's not my type, though. But even if she were my type, clearly there's you're not all there, you know? Like I can't I can't look I can't look over that. Are you being catfished? Uh, go watch my docu series and find out. Hi, Justin. How are you? <laughs> Why would they do that to you? Were you on a dating site? No. It was from TikTok. Thank you for explaining. I'm very so because I have no idea what catfish means. Oh, you're gonna know. I think you'd have, I think you'd have sociopathic tendencies in a relationship. I bet you're a good liar. No, I'm an awful liar. I'm the worst liar ever. Six months, yeah. She could have been real, the real her the whole time, though. So go watch my series. It's crazy. I uncover everything. Steven, hello. How'd you meet our TikTok? Dasha, thank you for the follow. Um, this is, uh, hope you find love soon. Super crazy. Sorry to hear that. I have a guy I get bad feelings about on here. Why do you get bad feelings about them? Nova's mama, thank you for the follow. When someone misrepresents themselves online or romantic relationship, usually to get money. Where are you from? I'm from Ohio. K KJ, thank you so much for the follow. Knit in real? Who Hoonsay is? I don't know what you're trying to say.
Relationships these days are more dangerous than car rides, I swear. I mean, in your case, you got flung out of the, out of the car, Sabine. So it's kind of just like a car wreck. Real who they represent self as. I give up on dating seems too hard now, nowadays. Was dating ever easy? Like, the, the problem with modern day dating is we have the grass is green syndrome. Nobody's ever good enough. Like, you could have a 9.99999 out of 10, but you're going to stay on the dating apps because you're like, the next person is going to be that perfect 10. And you're just swiping. And you're not getting to know your 9.99999 out of 10. Like, that's the problem with the dating scene. It's just how easy it is to find other people and see other people on the internet and then feel like we have a chance with literally anybody in the world and we're just never satisfied. So we don't see it out. Did you go on vacation or just a break from TikTok and Instagram? Um, both. I took a, I took like a week long vacation to um get my for one I needed it. Like I hadn't taken any sort of break since November. It was like six months, and and I was going to use California as my vacation, which never happened for obvious reasons. So I'm like, well, I just need to force myself to take a vacation now because I, ne I needed it. Like, I needed to rest, give my give my brain a rest for a week. It wasn't moving. He just dropped me on the highway. And Billy, hello. And I don't, I don't have the antidote for the grass is green sy syndrome. We kind of just have to check ourselves. Bernie, hello. And I feel like the more of us who check ourselves, the more of us who put in an effort because we check ourselves, the more successful we will be in relationships. Why do people catfish? That's a good question. I've never looked into the psychology of why people catfish. Like, I, f I feel like it has, it has to be some sort of personality disorder for you to want to catfish. I feel like, obviously, people will catfish to scam, get money. You know, just take advantage of people. Um, but everybody else... I don't know. Could be for the attention... Which pro probably, again, connects with some sort of per personality disorder. Like, at the root of it, th there's probably a personality disorder that makes somebody catfish. Like, s I get that some people might make, like, a, a fake account to check on their partners or whatever. That's different than catfishing. Catfishing is, like, trying to live the identity of that person. Like, take somebody's identity and live, live an online life as them and trick people it's not about just spying or checking in on somebody like they're trying to be that person okay like I've, I've never done a deep dive into why but I'm, I'm assuming i'm assuming those reasons <laughs> they're in insecure yeah, in, in some sense. <laughs> they don't think they are good enough in and of themselves they create a character. They prefer the fantasy. Could be for the thrill they feel it could be. How old, old are you? I'm 31. Tiffany, thank you so much for following. It could be like the thrill of stealing and getting away with it too. Yeah. It could be all, all sorts of things. Shauna, hello. Julian, welcome. I'll have to do a deep dive one day. User 10, hello. Emily, hi. Good night, y'all. Jessica, thank you for being here. Good night. Josh, hi. User 30, hello. Patricia, hello. Because the reasoning she gave me was that she made the account so she could check up on her ex-boyfriend who was harassing her and making videos about her and this and that. So she made the TikTok account to follow him 
and she posted videos so that it seemed like a real account. That's what she told me. But her story just doesn't add up. Because for one, why are you why are you watching lives? Why are you interacting with videos with this account? And on top of that, she had a whole Snapchat for this account. She had a Cash App for this account. She had a whole family on Facebook for this account. So absolutely not. You weren't you didn't make this just to check up on your ex-boyfriend's TikTok. Hopefully she doesn't try and catfish other men. What if she's doing the same thing to someone else? I have my eye on her. Caddy. I have my eye on her. She said she was done, that she'll never do it again. Jasmine, thank you for the follow. But I, I do have my eye on her. I'm watching. Super sketchy, I agree. Damn, that's commitment. Yeah. Mad Queen, hello. That sounds like... Like, did t did TBH? D-I-D? What's D-I-D? User 90, hello. If you had a Make-A-Wish, what would it be? I don't know. Did you ever figure out the connection between her and the real... No. I didn't. Dissociative identity disorder. I have not figured out the connection between the two of them. She won't she won't tell me and then um Ali doesn't want to talk about it. The internet is scary sometimes. It is. Hello, Nicole. Marky Mark, hi. Angel, hello. So I've never looked into dissociative identity disorder. Maybe there's our answer for anybody who catfishes. Other than scammers. Can't do it on, on dating apps easily because they do have you verify your profile. They do. Here's the crazy thing though. And hello. I have friends who get screenshots of verified dating apps and they're like I don't even have a profile how did they get verified using my photos people are getting verified on dating apps using other people's photos used to be called multiple personality disorder got you Alvaro hello Chelsea welcome how oh, that's crazy I know it is crazy but it's happening People are getting verified using other people's pictures. People are too smart. Hello, Laura. Everyone who's new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. Y'all the best. Zeus, hi. Red, welcome. Mary, hello. Sweet dreams, hi. These are 43, hello. Danielle, welcome. Probably gonna go to bed in like four minutes. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the Corys. All the best. And all the roses. Am I on any dating apps? Am I on them? Yes. Do I use them though? I've never went on a date from a dating app. But I do have I do have a profile on Hinge. I have one on Luxie. That's it, though. I have one on Facebook, I, but I feel like Facebook just gives you one. Justine, hello. But I don't actively use dating apps. Colden, hi. Jay, welcome. Jeffrey V, hello. Ash Cakes, hi. Royal Rose, thank you for the follow. If there's a will to scam online, someone will find a way. Facts. Your car is a vibe. Ash Cakes, thank you. Thank you for being here. Looney Tunes. Hello, Caitlin. What you up to? Why are you still awake at this time of night? JV, welcome. Ash Cakes, thank you so much for the rose. Well, shoot. Hello. What are you doing, Caitlin? Ferg, welcome. 
Blazing Phoenix, hi. Joanna, hello. Vanessa, welcome. How are you? I'm great, Joanna. How are you doing, Joanna? Thank you for the follow. What am I doing? I'm just chilling with y'all on the love ship. I was playing video games all day. That's what I do on Sunday. I just chill and play video games. But now I'm talking to y'all. Laying in bed, can't sleep? Why not? If we just treated others the way we want to be treated, this world would be a better place. Yeah. It would, be, it would be awesome if we lived in a world where personality disorders didn't exist and we could just be empathetic and nice and caring. Look, you, you look, <laughs> you're looking like Ken's type. Caitlin. That's good. I'm doing well. Thank you. Alicia, hello. Uwu, hello. Ozai, welcome. Poppy. Doves. Sand, sand wash soap. Hello. Alicia, thank you for the follow. Per night. What per night? April. What did I say? Mess and distress. Hello. Rainy, welcome. He's good at coasting. I'm having so much deja vu. <laughs> that gave me so much deja vu, vu, you saying that I'm good at ghosting, Caitlin. Purple Panda's high. You're really cute, thank you. <laughs> bad boy. I am, I am a bad boy. Hi from Santa Cruz, California. Hello. Hi from New Mexico. Rainy from New Mexico. How are you? <laughs> because you know it's bad. I'm not a ghoster. I'm a, I'm a fader. I fade away. I don't ghost. Margarita, how are you? I, I was asking how long you stay live. Oh, how long do I stay live? Usually about an hour. If it gets crazy, if it gets popping, if we get a bunch of people following, then I'll stay on longer. As much as I can until I, I just can't keep my eyes open. Are you a good boy? I'm not a good boy. Laura, thank you for the follow. I'm a, I'm a bad boy. I said it was admirable, admirable how consistent you are. Thank you. I used to be more consistent. I used to go live two times a day, and I'll probably get back to that. I was just going through so much the past couple months that I stopped doing that. But I'll be back. I'll be back at it. I'll be back going live more than once. Great, just relaxing at home. Well, I hope your night is super relaxing. Glad to hear. I was definitely a ghost, but I saw I miss on your story time. Can talk. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Caitlin. Um, that happened. Hi, Ken. How are you? Miss you. Peggy, hello. Peggy, what you been up to? So you ghosted the wrong one? I don't consider it ghosting. I never ghosted you. It's not like, here's the, th this is what I consider ghosting. Ghosting is like ignoring somebody. Not stop trying. Stop trying isn't ghosting. Ghosting is ignoring. Caitlin, have I ever ignored you? I saw to hang out here. It's nice to hang out here with you. Well, thank you. Have I ever ignored you, Caitlin? I don't think so. I think I just stopped trying. <laughs> as long as you're taking time off for yourself. That's all that matters. Hello, Kristen. Busy. My mom had a mastectomy. I've been taking care of her. I hope your mom recovers quickly. Eddie, hi. Best welcome. Gabriella, hello. To me, ghosting is where you drop off the face of the earth. No, not, not me. Ghosting is... Um, we're talking and everything seems fine. And then where'd you go? And then I never hear from you again. Like go ghosts don't respond. If I text you and you respond, that's not a ghost. You're, you're just busy with bullshit. <laughs> that's why. I agree. No context goes, is ghosting. Facts. But I would say... <laughs> nah, Caitlin. I would bet, I would bet anything... 
I don't know. I don't know if I'd want to bet. <laughs> I don't know if I want to bet. But I would say you probably left me on red versus me leaving you on red. I would I would bet you mm, I don't I'm not super confident in that statement. It could have been either one of us, to be honest. <laughs> Jesse, thank you for the follow. Shannon, hi. Michelle, hello. No, I asked you when you wanted to hang out. Were you with me or not? I did? I don't believe that. I don't, I don't think that's how that happened. <laughs> Pretty sure it was you, Ken. I don't know. I don't believe that. I don't believe it was me. <laughs> you look and so like a guy with a red soul. I'm sorry if that was you. Uh, Aubrey, I don't know who you are. Thank you for being here. I was like, R.I.P. my soul. Deja, hello. Megan, welcome. The only person who's ever left me on red is Caitlin. <laughs> Katie, hi. Naomi, welcome. Jamie, hi. Monica, welcome. Everybody who's new here, click the follow button. I appreciate it so much. All the best. And follow me on Instagram, at Gaming. What a homie. Deja, I'm just chilling in the love ship. What's up with you? <laughs> no, stop. <laughs> I'm gonna chat, Caitlin. I don't believe you. Ten's high. I when I get off of here, I'm gonna check immediately. Texas in the house. All the way from Texas. Well, thanks for being here. Hi, Amber. <laughs> Noel, welcome. Savage high. I literally just look. <laughs> That's how I know, but it's fine. I'm gonna. Caitlin is beautiful. Caitlin is beautiful. I'm gonna check still. Corey, hi. And Caitlin is also an officer. <laughs> so um, don't mess don't mess with her. She will throw you in cuffs so fast. You left you left her in red. No, I didn't. <laughs> like I said, I get why because of the story. Time can talk. Yeah. Um, I was I had to. I had to. Stop talking to everybody. I was made to. <laughs> mm -mm. I don't believe that. Um, yeah. I I was I was told I'm not allowed to talk to girls anymore. <sighs> such such a messed up situation. Amory, hello. I feel like my lights are fading. My face is not that bright. Diane C, hi. Well, if you're in a relationship, then yes, I agree. Well, I'm not in a relationship, but I was talking, I was talking to somebody who made me stop talking to, to girls. But oops, she wasn't real. <laughs> hi, sweetheart. Hello, Erica. <laughs> yeah, that was messed up for sure. Abby, welcome. Hi, Cass. Which... I'm fine doing like I'm fine not talking to somebody if I'm if I'm talk if I'm talking to you seriously I will not talk to other people. Hannah, hello. Good night, Peggy. But not in, never again until we at least meet. I'm not dropping anybody until I meet you. You know, that's my new rule. Nope. Until I meet you, until our lips touch, I'm not dropping no one. Shows you're a good person. <laughs> Well, I was a good person. <laughs> Great role. Hi, Laura. I agree with that. Kate, hello. I was a good person. <laughs> now, now I'm a bad boy. Now I'm evil. Well, I'm just in VA, so. You're, so you're still there, Caitlin. I asked you last time, but you didn't respond to me. Katrina, hi. Hello, Ali. Lover boy, Nathan, hello. Sandra, welcome. Everybody, click the follow button. We need to hit 65k tonight. Hi from Louisiana. How many followers do we have? We have 42 followers tonight. So we're probably like 30, 30 followers away from 65k. So click those follows, everyone. Jillian, thank you for the follow. Hi from Louisiana. Hello. How do you have the lights in the car ceiling? Link tree in the bio. Go to my Amazon store. Everything I use to live stream, including these lights, 
are there in my Amazon store. Sandra and Katrina, thank you for the follow. Yeah, bad boy, because ghosting, ghosting Beanstalk. Here's the thing, Beanstalk, Caitlin, you could have texted me and I would have texted you back. Thank you for likes, everybody. Did you even, did you even try to text me, Caitlin? I don't know if you did. I don't feel, I don't feel like I would have ignored you. Christine, hi. Sandra, hello. Erica, welcome. Hello, Darla Moon. Valerie, hi. Adriana, welcome. Yes. <laughs> Well, I'm sorry, Caitlin. I'm sorry if I ignored you. Valerie, hello. That doesn't seem like me, though. That doesn't seem like something I would do. Alexis, how are you? I love the Superman profile picture. Call up DC and get an audition. Maybe. Maybe I'll become the new Superman. I don't feel like I have a Superman voice, so it's not deep enough. <clears throat> it's fine. Just had to come give you a shit. Thank you for like everybody. Hi, Jessica. Hello there. Hello, Janet. I don't feel like my voice is deep enough to be Superman. But I totally would. We fall accidentally ignoring a text, I think. Thank you for the TikToks, Jordan. I mean, it sound, it sound like it was you because... Catfish girl said you cut it. Yeah. She did say I cut it. But I still feel like I would have broken her rules for you. You're welcome. Thank you for all this, everyone. Hello, Sandy. D-N-O-C, hi. Rye Pie, thank you for the follow. Hello, Marie. Judy, hello. PB, welcome. Janet, thank you for the follow. What? Oh, then what the heck? <laughs> the eyebrows look great. You must be plucking. I do pluck my brows. I do underneath. I do the sides and I do the middle. I never touch the tops. Um, I don't know the rules for girls, but guys are not supposed to t touch the tops of your brows. You're always welcome. I just let them go wild up here. Janae, hello. Lizzie M, welcome. Have a good night. Thank you, Joanna. You have a good night, too. Lizzie M, thanks for being here. Callie, hello. Ricky, hi. You said my name right. I see you. No, I don't know what I said. Janae, Janai. Is it Janae, like Janae Iko, or Janai? Beth joined. Hello, Beth. Anyways, hopefully I'll talk to you later. Caitlin, I'll text you. I'll text you when I get off here. Hello, Tim. <laughs> Janae. Okay, so I, I did say it right. Tomorrow is Monday, work mode again. Yeah, unfortunately. Thank you for likes, everybody. All the best. Hello from Texas. Georgette from Texas. Hello. Bet. Facts. Bet and facts, girl. You can go ahead and keep saying my name. Georgette, thank you for the follow. Am I sick? No, I'm not. But thank you. Thank you for asking. Hello from Ghana. Hello. Janae. Thank you for the follow. How are you, Albert? I'm doing good. I'm a little tired. Gotta get a little stretch in. But I'm good. Thank you for asking. Thanks for the likes, everyone. You're welcome, handsome. You're all the best. Also, follow me on Instagram at SuperGoodGaming. And if you want to FaceTime with me, if you want a phone call with me, link tree in the bio. Book a phone call. Book a FaceTime. And if you're a Love Ranger, you get 25% off for Love Rangers only for phone calls and FaceTimes. A rock star will, will wake you up 
I can't sleep. I have college finals soon. Well, good luck, Nathan. Good luck on your finals. Thank you for the likes, everybody. Hello, Len. Ricky, hi. Georgette, welcome. Two more minutes and it's bedtime. Unless it gets popping in here. Unless we get 100 followers going in here, it's bedtime. Hello, Matt. We almost hit 50 new followers today. Hello, Taylor. I'm glad I'm done with college. Lindsay, hello. Cassie, hi. I should probably start wrapping up. Only got 28 people in here. My favorite food of all time is pizza. Kitty James, hi. My light is bothering me. Why is it so dim right now? Madison, I'm good. How are you? I feel like that's too bright, though. I'll keep it. So the other one's just too dark. Thank you for the likes, everybody. I said hello. How are you, Allison? I'm doing good. What kind of pizza? I'm team cheese. Like, I will eat any pizza. There's no pizza I'll say no to. But just a regular cheese, some stuffed crust, extra good. I would love to get to know you more. Well, hello. Jennifer, thank you for the follow. We hit 50 new followers tonight. You're the best. College is fun. I love the parties. In dorm parties, we, we do dumb stuff. Thank you for being here for us. An awful my house caught on fire yesterday. Well, Madison, I'm so sorry your house caught on fire. Hope everybody in your family is okay. You're a cheese man. I am a cheese man. Moan. Hello, Jack. Just Cal. Hello. How have you been? I haven't seen you in so long. Cheese in me. What is my favorite Asian food? You like me? Thank you. Um, My favorite Asian food... I really like orange chicken. That's so good. You're not okay? Well, I'm sorry, Madison. Elman Toya, Toya, hello. Kendra, welcome. We filled an inflatable pool with Gatorade and swam in Gatorade at a frat party just to be funny. <clears throat> you look tired? I am tired. I'm going to be going to bed soon. Tyrone, hello. Hi, Tracy. I'm going to start wrapping up. I love and appreciate you all so much. Thank you for hanging out with me. <clears throat> Sorry. If you're new here, click the follow button. Follow me on Instagram at SuperKenGaming. All the best. Hello, Brittany. If you want a phone call with me, a FaceTime with me, link tree in the bio. Go book a phone call. If you want this light or anything I use to live stream or make videos with, link tree in the bio. Go to my Amazon store. I love and appreciate you all so much. Good night. Sweet dreams. You're all so wonderful. Goodbye.